Well, once again, greetings from the 2021 Hershey RV show. And here we are at New Camp. And this barefoot is one of the trailers that is causing all the rage here at the RV show. Hello. Doing great. And uh, they have some people in there too. But as soon as I, I get a chance, I'm going to show it to you guys. The barefoot. This is a pre-production prototype. They have a QR code if you want. If you guys wanna scan the screen, so you can check it out. And uh, there's a bunch of uh, people in there, but let's see if we can take a quick look. Let's see what this is. Oh, here we have two small propane tanks and a spare tire. You can see the the. It's not a controller. It's the. The, the regulator, the propane regulator. And this is kind of like a... Okay, let's check it out real quick here. Finally able to step inside. And uh, as you can see, very, very uh, minimalistic, if you will. Let's see, let's do the bathroom test. And this is the thing. With this wet bath, you would probably have to sit down to take a shower. And this happened to me in, 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 an, in other rigs, and that's the one. I'm 5'10", and I'm, I don't fit. So you would have to be a very short person to be able to use that bathroom comfortably. Or I guess you would sit down on your cassette toilet. It's a Thetford cassette toilet, which is actually fairly comfortable. I think um, this is what Matt would call a prime pooping position. So that's not bad. Here we have our galley with a two burner domestic range and uh, and I'm gonna scan that QR code to, to get a little bit more in, in terms of specs and stuff I do, do not see an air conditioner here but we do have a, a domestic a fantastic fan and all these awning style windows that open up so uh, unless it is sweltering hot you mean it, you, it, it, it would be uh, okay and then of course this u-shaped dinette will turn into a sleeping area here we have some storage and uh, it would be good to know like weight and uh, that kind of thing but since this is a pre-production prototype I mean we even have a wardrobe closet here with the light I don't think the battery is on and a little more storage down there let's see what else we have here I wonder what these handles are for. I imagine it's a. Uh, we have some. We have some outside a uh, power plugs here. Another that is very very aesthetically pleasing. The barefoot here. Okay, so here this is a. This is a diagram of that Aldi. A heating system and by the way it does have an air conditioner somewhere it's just not a rooftop air conditioner so it's very good and uh, Pete uh, Austin here was telling me a little bit about it so yeah okay well we're here by new camp let's check out some of these uh, truck campers that we have here I think let's let's do this one first this is uh, the, the 620 by new camp of course they, they have the Aldi heating system that we, we just saw the the, the mock-up out there uh, to check this out these are very, very nice. You have storage here on both sides of the bed. Reading lights. I'm sure, uh, I don't want to go all the way back there, but I'm sure we have some SUV, um, SUV. Hello, Robert. Some of those pop up uh, um, uh, USB connectors. We have some more USB down here. Storage down there. And this, this, this must be that uh, he was telling me about the, the AC is just tucked in somewhere and they just have vents all over. So it's, it's not a rooftop AC. Right now we have the fantastic vent going full throttle there. Here's the small kitchenette. I think that's what they call it. I still call it galley because I like to use maritime terms when it comes to this thing. And 
I guess this is not, oh this is, oh here we go, and this would access the water pump and uh, other systems. So very easily accessible if you want to uh, repair or replace something. I don't see a bathroom here, but I bet you two bottles of scotch. Yes, it is a Thetford cassette toilet right there. And this is a small-ish refrigerator, but we, we're talking about a very, very small truck camper here. Let's, let's, the gross weight is only 1,491 pounds. So, um, and that's, that's the dry weight. So we have a small uh, five gallon cassette toilet. That's a 20 liter uh, European style cassette toilet, toilet. 17 gallons of, of water and 12 gallons of gray, which is uh, it's not a whole lot, but uh, if you're talking about this size, I mean, it's only 14 or only, only 1500 pounds, which is, uh, it is very lightweight. You could, you could carry this on a standard, you know, full size truck. Let's check this one out real quick. This is the 820 by Newcamp. Asdell on board. Everybody is, is starting to do that Asdell on board now. And this one has not one but two fantastic fans. And here's uh, here's your your bedroom or your bed. Same same uh, storage here on the side, but you have more storage in the back. That's a small uh, few uh, uh, radio everybody's using. This seem like pretty decent speakers. TV here, nice, uh, um, um, nice skylight there, and look at this. This is, yeah, this is missing something, <laughs> but that's a Norcold two-way refrigerator LP, liquid uh, propane and electricity. And here's our control panel. It uh, it tells you your tank levels, and here's. Uh, for how, how do you turn on lights, accent lights, beautiful accent lights. And it's a decent amount, amount of storage up here. Pretty deep, I mean, they have stuff in there, but it's almost almost elbow deep, not bad. I like, I like this large window here by the dinette. And uh, very cool dinette because you can sit down, at, this is a, a floating table as well. You can sit down normally or you can use it as a lounger and lounge. And I know Illy would love that. Then back here we have a wet bath, a wet bath, nice shower. Again, this is a, not a cassette toilet, so this one does have a black water tank. This is very, very nice, very beautiful. Waterproof for your toilet paper. And let me see if this one has some of the, some of the specs. I don't see the specs anywhere. But anyway, here's a, this would set you back 47,000, 45 only here to that DRV show. And I'd be curious to wardrobe closet and what is this? Oh, it's a, it's a Voyager digital wireless camera. So it does have a, that camera right here. Let me see if they have any information about weight and all that kind of thing. But, uh, and that's the, the Aldi water uh, heating system that I was telling you about. I know, you would think. So yeah, this was a quick look at New Camp. They also have teardrops, but I, I wanted to focus uh, a, a little more on the on the truck campers, which you guys uh, requested that I do. A, let's just take a look, a quick look here at uh, the teardrops. I like the way this, and uh, don't tell anybody. I, I I think I broke one of these at an RV show a couple of years ago. I like that the way that opens and closes. And uh, this is what the teardrop would look like. And uh, you have an air conditioner and uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a step up from a tent really. And it's very good if, if you have clearance issues, if, if you want to store something like this in a, in a standard garage. I'm sure back here is very noisy uh, around here, so I apologize. But back here we have an outdoor kitchen. All these, all these teardrops will have this outdoor kitchen. Uh, which are great in good weather. So, yeah. We have a sink and some storage down here, microwave, everything. And even, it even comes with some spices. <laughs> All right. And I think that's it for new camp here at the 2021 Hershey RV Show.
wherever I want to be. And guys, I'm free in my RV.